Hey everyone, we've got OpenXCOM working, and not only that, I've got XCOM files. I have never played this. This took way too long to figure out. In fact, tonight I get OpenXCOM working, and I'm like, dude, I got OpenXCOM working. This is amazing. Um, it had to do with, um, I don't know what the pathing files is doing, but man, there's something really quirky. I knew about that last two days ago. I wrote a message to someone, and... Uh, I was just like, yeah, I think I figured it out. I think I got it actually working. Um, and I thought it would be really easy because all I thought is, is I was missing the data files. For those of you who don't know, you need the original game files in order to run the modified version because you need proof of ownership and they cannot use those resources without, you know, so on and so forth. They can't redistribute them. Anyway, um, so I thought that was the issue. And then last night I tried getting that to work and nope, it didn't work at all. It was complete crap. Um, complete crap fest. And then, so tonight I basically said, screw it. I started tinkering around again and, um, you know, here I am, I got it working. And then I tried getting open, uh, the XCOM files working and almost thought I'd have to give up before I made it. I am... 10 minutes before I ran out of time. So I'm actually going to be next week producing a bunch of open XCOM, uh, more expensive, more specifically the XCOM files. Sorry guys, this has just got me pumped. Um, I'll still do some of my regular, like, you know, short videos and stuff that are RimWorld based. That's not changing or anything. Um, I'm just doing this because, man, this has got me so pumped. I have seen tons of stuff about this. I have tried to get it to work in the past. It has always failed. This is the first time I have ever been able to get this to work, and this is not the first time I have tried. So I'm stoked. Um, for those of you who don't know what the XCOM Files is, it's a mod for an old game that is still updated to this day. If you see the version 2.8 that came out um, 20 days ago, I think, 20 days ago. And then I'm running on version 7.8, which came back out in the end of October of last year. So um, let's get this started. I am not doing, <laughs> I am not doing Iron Man. Sorry, guys, it's not happening. Um, you know, even if I don't mod it, I am done with Iron Man because it just creates so many little problems. And honestly, just being able to go back and re-fix the issues, it's just not worth it. Alrighty. Um, we are going to... Wow. Holy crap. Oh, man. They've really cleaned up the map. That is a crap ton of cities now. Yeah, I don't really see any option. I, I gotta really defend Europe here. Um, I usually go down south. Let's go ahead and do that still. That way I can cover North Africa and some of Asia. Um, I really like Crete for that way. Um, Hound River. Oh, it has names! Oh, that's so useful. I don't have to name them, guys. This is beautiful. I'm gonna cry. All right, here we go. We've got Hound River. I don't have to do anything. It is XCOM headquarters. No. Okay. Um, and this video will be short. I'm going to have this video out the night I'm recording my stuff. This would be Friday night. That's when I usually sit down and have time to actually record out some gameplay footage. Um, after I get this done, I'm going to make extra for next week. And if people like it, that's awesome. If they don't... Well, uh, I'll probably still do it anyway. Um, if you guys love, I know there's a couple people who are ardent XCOM followers out there, and if you guys see this content, please sh like, like it, subscribe, share it to other people you know who would like it. I have sunk an inordinate amount of time into getting this to work. I'm stoked. I am so ready for this. I am so bored with the like basic original XCOM experience. I really want something that'll kick my butt again. Um, and I, I, Open XCOM does do that. And what? Is that a car? <laughs> Why do I have a car? Okay. Um, well, that's a thing. Anyway, like I said, 
if if you guys if you guys don't mind sharing the content i would appreciate it i'm just going to go through and kind of figure out what's going on here because i'm looking at all of this and i'm like i honestly don't recognize my oh i start with a prison cell that's reasonable living quarters gym a gym what does a gym do oh please tell me it trains my people a gym okay doesn't do i right click to find out what they do combat training Oh my goodness. <gasps> that is beautiful. Throw, melee, accuracy, HP, stamina, strength. Okay. None of the ones that are like Mel? What is Mel? Melee? It's gotta be melee. Um, it's none of the ones I would consider be like ultra critical, but also, you know, what having them boosted is convenient and helps you focus on the stats that are harder to maintain. So that's cool. Um, I should actually really be looking at, uh, whoa, 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 okay. This is very different and my audio is dropping. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a little noise there as I adjust things. Hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, I'm not picking it up as well. I was doing a test run earlier and it worked fine, but now it is all wonky and I don't know why. Sorry. We'll iron out those agents. Okay, public car one, public car two. Hey, they got little countries. Oh, how sweet. And a suit. Because you need a good suit when you're out there, you know, fighting aliens. Good bravery. <gasps> oh. I was about to say, please tell me I don't have like 10 bravery people anymore. But, oh well. We'll live without it. All right. Um, I really have no idea what to do. So we're going to build a research. Do, how, do I need to build a research? Can I research? Okay, I have scientists already. New project. Default by cost. Uh, huh? Wait, what? There's no research? Dear Lord. What do I do? I can't, like, ah, I'm panicking. Help, help. <laughs> I have one engineer. Okay, this has got to be associated with the headquarters then. Well, I don't know why I get a corridor. That's not exactly useful. All right, so let's go and find out UFOpedia, base facilities, a gym, Training agents, it raises their stats a little each day of training until the training caps are met. It doesn't train bravery, reaction, nor mental abilities. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. I'm assuming I can unlock tech that does that, though. Because I've used mods that allow you to react, train reaction, and it honestly just makes the game comically easy. Animal pen. It meant for study of animals. No! It can support up to ten creatures at once. <gasps> you don't say! All right, prison cell suspects, hmm, not aliens, headquarters. It allows five scientists researching basic projects. Okay, general stores. All right, it looks like everything is more or less what I'd expect it to be. Um, let's see, uh, technology, no. Field equipment? Oh my goodness. Unarmed attack suit. Unarmed attack diving suit. Oh, martial arts. Wow. Um, yeah, is there a way to go through? Oh, there is. Okay, martial arts. Strength plus reaction plus melee plus strength. Okay. Huh. Electric club. Taser pistol, light pistol, Glock. What's the difference? 20, 22. A little more. No, actually, it's a lot more expensive, but it has an auto shot. But it's also. See, the Glock just seems like a flat out better version. I do not see the reason why I would want a light pistol. Not quickly, anyway. I mean, maybe there is a better reason, but I mean, the Glock just has flat out really good snap accuracy. I don't know why I would use almost anything else. That seems like a really good choice right there. A reliable, easy to hit. What's the range? Do they have the range? Is there a range issue? Wow, that's a lot of detail. Aim shot range, auto shot range, accuracy drop off per tile. Okay. 
So let's compare that to the light pistol. What do we get? 50%, 105%, 18%. See, it just seems like a weaker version of the Glock. Flat out, sell cost, 315. What's a Glock worth? 495. It's more expensive. Okay. Snub nose. Human tech firearm land capable for calculated values for superhuman. Oh. Okay. Categories comparable anim compatible ammo. CQ CQC what? Close quarter combat accuracy. Oh. Huh? So it's actually really good if it's like in melee range? Oh, so cool. Okay. Does this have one? 133. Now I'm curious. Let's go back to the Glock, which I like right now. 133. So still not really better than the Glock. Let's see. Uh, wow. But it uses a lot more accuracy, but it hits a lot harder. Okay. Beretta. Whoa. No. Okay. That's not bad. But no auto. Small shotgun. Its effective range is short, but it can be concealed. Oh. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wait, wait. No. No, that's the first one. Classic shotgun used by police to, and civilians. Really high accuracy. Kinetic 5, 15 times 5. Okay, that just seems a little powerful. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Saving both human and life property it can be useful to subdue. Handcuffs. Wait, what? Stand over a stunned unit and use the handcuff action? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's actually really cool. A mag light produces bright light. Can also function as a stun weapon. Okay. Flare, stem, painkiller, first aid kit, medical bag, metapack, criminal <laughs> records, illegal requisition file. This has already gone longer than I intended to. I really need to be wrapping this up and just playing, but whoa. Public transport, public transport. Public car, undetectable. The most basic transportation. Max range is flipping far. Why is it so far? Yeah, we'll figure that out. Two cargo space, one pilot. Eh? Oh, I can carry three people? Okay. It, uh, uh, CCTV camera? Huh? Oh, cool. <gasps> no way! Oh, that is so useful. Fire... Fighter combat analysis. Urban youth. Urban youth. Ganger. Male detective. Forester. Male civilian. Wow. Okay, there is a lot of detail here. Holy crap, there is a ton. Council scavenger. Salvage. Need to know basis. If some terminology you find in the entries of the Ophopedia does not meet anything to mean anything to you, it means you do not need to have access. <laughs> Dossiers. <laughs> uh, transformation. Huh? Transformations. Agents can undergo to improve the things. That, oh. Okay. So I can like mutate my agents. Holy crap. That is so cool. Uh, I had heard, I had heard this inspired a lot of the new XCOM. XCOM, what is that? Is it just called XCOM? The one that's got 3D graphics? I had heard this inspired a lot of that, and it really does look like it. Except this looks way more versatile. Overstun. Gravely injured combatants remain in danger after receiving medical attention. When the stun level exceeds five times the health, they start to lose health, indicated by a heart shock icon. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I always kind of hated that. Um, honestly, you should be able to kill like someone by stunning them if their health is almost dead anyway. Even if they're not bleeding, I mean, like just it it it, it indicates vulnerability. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, man, this is long. Outdated weapons, missions and research, sanity, teamwork, damage, damage rolls, accuracy, fire spraying, night vision, crowd control, look around, surrender, sniper, spotter, operation, cooperation. Okay. Many enemies have a spotter or sniper ability. Okay. Close quarter combat. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do all of this right now. We're, we're just going to ignore it, whether we should or not. Um, the video is going longer than I intended to, so we are going to save. We are going to save this as video playthrough, I guess. Um, a creative title, I know. And we're going to abandon the game. You guys have a good one.